back to the channel. So let's play a little bit of a game today. So I'm going to do a watch review and I want you guys to guess the price tag of the watch. So before we get started, no cheating. Please don't go Google search this watch. I want you guys to legitimately tell me what you think this watch is worth and what you'd be willing to pay for it. So I'm going to do a full review of this watch of the Filson Scout. And at the end of the video, what I'd like for you guys to do before I reveal the price tag is to tell me what you think this watch is worth or what you'd be willing to pay for it. And then once I reveal the price of it, let me know what you guys think based on what its retail price is. So hopefully that sounds like fun to you guys. So before we get started, uh, just really customary quick wristwatch check. Today I'm wearing my Sega Monster SRP 307 J1. I have it on the sailcloth strap I got from Mr. Sailcloth. And uh, yeah, it's awesome. If you want to see pictures of it, they're on my Instagram, links to which and all my other social media is below. All that said though, let's go ahead and just jump right into the review. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So this is a Filson watch from Filson. They're a uh, kind of a clothing and outdoor store based in Seattle. They've been around since 1897, which the box will tell you as well. Um, they used to make a lot of like outdoor goods for like the pioneers is my understanding. Uh, now they're a brand that's owned by Bedrock Manufacturing. Bedrock also owns Shinola and was founded by the gentleman that founded this fossil group. So um, all that said, let's go and get started. Uh, to start with, it comes in a beautiful hardwood box. Uh, the graining on it is cool. And um, I can only imagine, you know, what a cool watch box this is on its own, but what you could do with something like this. It is a really cool, you know, rustic looking box and I adore it. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna probably notice immediately if I decide to pan up a little bit is this is very similar to a Shinola watch. So like Shinola, you're gonna go ahead and get one of these nice plaques. It mentions uh, who actually made the watch. In this case, it's Stefan uh, Myhock and the series. And then it also talks about how it was made uh, for Filson of Seattle by Shinola. Um, as it's made by Shinola, this watch is also made in Detroit um, in the Argonaut building, which, oops, <laughs> which I've talked about on my Shinola reviews. The Argonaut building used to be a GM building. And um, with my GM history, I know the building well and I love it. It's an Albert Kahn building. Uh, behind here, you get your standard stuff, including your, uh, your booklets. So take that out of the way. You get a nice uh, booklet, really nice grain or uh, stock paper that they used here. Very well done. Presentation is exceptional. And of course you get a, a generic manual and it covers not just this model, but chronograph models and otherwise. Beautiful stock, beautiful printing, uh, fit and finish on the booklet. Um, the packaging that it comes in and the box as with Shinola products themselves are all very, very well done. And if we look down below, you'll see our uh, watch itself, the Scout. So go ahead and take it off of its little pill here. As I shake it a little bit, you'll see actually the AR coating on the crystal. See as I rotate it around, you can see how it's reflecting some of the light back. So let's go ahead, pull it out, take it off of this little pillow. Get the stuff out of the way. And uh, let's go ahead and focus on the watch itself. There we go. So let's go ahead and start talking about the watch. So the watch has Argonite 7015 written on it. Uh, it's actually the 7015 is a nod to the base caliber, which is a Ronda 7015. It's gonna give you five jewels, has about a 60 month battery life, which is pretty exceptional. And this is the gold plated caliber. I'll show you pictures of it in a bit. Um, but you know, it has a long power reserve on the battery against 60, uh, 60 months, which is quite exceptional. And again, this is the five jewel model. They also have a nickel plated version of this movement, which is one jewel. This is the, the uh, gold plated five jewel version of the movement. In this case, they're calling it Argonaut or Argonite, excuse me, because it's manufactured in the Argonaut building in Detroit, along with the other Shinolas. And you know, I've already talked about it on this video, but if you guys are into architecture, um, and I've talked about every channel video as well, go take a look at the Argonaut building. It was designed by Albert Kahn, and if you're into Art Deco architecture in particular, I think you'll probably really appreciate the design aesthetic of this building. It used to be an engineering laboratory for General Motors back in the day, and it's a, a pretty cool building. Um, with all that said though, the watch comes on a 22 millimeter strap itself. The watch, it's a little bit larger than 45 millimeters. I think it's like 45.5. Overall, it's a slim profile case. It's going to give you an anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal. And the strap itself is actually very nice. Let me go and show you the strap real quick. The strap is Horween leather, which is manufactured in the United States. These straps on their own, I believe are about $95 if you want to buy a replacement. It's very soft, has a thick padding to it. It's of course marked Filson. And here you can say built in the United States, yeah, it is 22 mil and it's Horween leather. Strap is very nice quality. And it has a really nice unmarked buckle with a roller. 
and the buckle itself is actually screwed in. So pretty nice that they did that detail on it. And actually on the strap too, hopefully you'll pick it up in this light, maybe not. It's actually marked uh, Seattle uh, Filson 1897. So nice detail on the strap itself. Uh, the case has some really cool details. Uh, the crown itself has a, uh, it's marked Filson as well, 1897, and almost has kind of look of like a, a bullet. It's kind of cool the way they did it. And it also has a nice grip on it as well. It actually kind of reminds me of crowns you'd see on Tudors. Um, it has a, tradi a traditional, uh, like almost Flieger style dial uh, up the top at 12. You'll see Filson since 1897. And again, mentioning the caliber, which in this case is Argonite 7015. Now, this is just a basic caliber. So you're gonna get, you know, minutes, hours, seconds, and then a date. Um, the bezel on this watch is actually kind of unique. So it actually does rotate and it's actually bi-directional. So you can turn it either way. Now, you know, as with a dive watch, um, you could of course line this up to your minute hand and then keep track of elapsed time. Um, without having marking on it, I think it's slightly less intuitive to use, but that could definitely be used for that. So that's kind of cool. Um, as you can see, it is ticking. This is, of course, a quartz caliber, as I've mentioned. And, uh, you know, it does have decent luminescence. I'll uh, show you a clip of that in a sec. Um, beyond that, the case is stainless steel and it has some other really nice details going on. Um, you'll notice that the strap itself is also held in with screws. And actually, the case back itself, which is quite pretty, um, is also screwed in. Now, they've also done a bronze coating over the stainless steel for the case back. And the case back is very pretty. Um, C.C. Filson and Company, Seattle, Washington. Um, there's a serial number built in Detroit by Shinola. Um, Unfailing Goods talks about that it's sapphire crystal, all stainless steel. And in this case, this has 20 atmosphere water resistance. It's got a beautiful raised feel. It almost feels like an old fashioned coin, actually, the case back. It's very well done. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely impresses, this case back does. And again, it's got a beautiful strap. Now, in terms of functionality, it's exactly what you'd more likely than expect. It is screwed down, uh, helping that 20 atmosphere water resistance, so you unscrew it. And as this is not an automatic caliber, it doesn't wind when you unscrew it, it just free spins. So first position, as you can see, I can change the date. And second position, hacking, and we can go ahead and change the time. So, and it, everything on this watch does feel, I will say, very well made. Now, one caveat to that, and something that I'll show you right here. As you can see, I've taken this watch apart. So, of course, you'd be asking yourself, why did I take this watch apart? Well, when I received it, the second hand was actually not lining up with the indices, which, if you're OCD like I am, is a massive annoyance. So, I actually took the entire watch apart and I took the minute hand off of it and I realigned it so that it'd be hitting the indices as you can see here. So it is now the way it should have been. When I got it, it was basically hitting in between every marker, which was driving me nuts. Um, and taking it apart, you can of course see that this is the gold plated version of the caliber. It's a nice looking movement. It's a very thin movement. Um, the case uh, is marked made in China, which is not to be unexpected in this price point, which again, you're gonna be guessing what that is. Um, but it is very well made, you know, and the whole case back, as I showed you earlier, is actually all screwed in. So it was very easy to take apart, and it's uh, the fact that it's screwed in too is a nice touch. Um, but the fact that it left the factory like that is honestly quite disappointing. Um, but beyond that, it is quite a nice watch, and I'll go ahead and show it to you on the wrist real quick. Next to my Seiko Monster here. You can definitely see that AR coating working well too which my monster does not have for comparison, but I have a just under a seven inch wrist. And as you can see, it fills my wrist up nicely. It's actually quite a large watch and the lugs are quite long. It works pretty flat to the wrist. I do think you could wear this watch with dress cuffs and on this whoring strap, I think it has a very nice kind of military looking aesthetic to it, but I think you could definitely dress it up a bit more so than say like a G-Shock, for example. I think it's definitely a versatile use watch. So I asked you guys earlier, uh, how much you think this watch cost? So again, Swiss quartz movement, Chinese case, good build quality, sapphire crystal. So for comparison, before you guys guess, here's another watch that I haven't reviewed on the channel, but this belongs to my friend, uh, Jack. Well, actually he gave it to me. This is a Velaccio. I reviewed one of his watches on the channel before. This watch cost under $100. 
has sapphire crystal, has a screw-in case back, and is also using a Swiss caliber movement. Um, this one is only good to five atmospheres, um, and this is also a limited edition, and it's on this mesh bracelet. So this watch is $100. So made by, you know, a kid, as it were, a university student. So if we go back to the Filson, how much do you think this watch cost? Um, bear in mind, again, you're getting, it's assembled in the United States. It comes on a beautiful Horween strap. Fin to finish is exceptional. And the packaging that we looked at earlier was top notch. So go ahead and let me know. You got five seconds to write your answers down. All right. So here's the price tag, we ready? There you go, did you guess right? So $650, although you can find them on sale. So given that, what do you guys think? Do you think that this watch is worth the price? With that said, let's go ahead and jump back. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed the review, welcome back. So what do you guys think? Do you think the price is justified? I, I know personally, and obviously as I put in the description of this video, I think it's overpriced. Now, I say that and I have tons of watches that are be guilty of being considered overpriced too. So really kind of curious what you guys think about it. You know, I bought this watch knowing that I thought it was overpriced, but you know, I have a lot of love and passion for Detroit, which is, you know, Shinola's basis. And then I also have a massive love for Seattle, apart from the fact that I plastered half of, you know, my Instagram with Seattle pictures and the fact that I wouldn't mind living there either. So, I mean, the fact that there was a Seattle and the Detroit tie-in, you know, I, I just went ahead and bought it. So, um, that said, probably not going to keep it. I don't wear it that much, but it is a nice watch, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, let me know what you guys think. You know, did you like the video? Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what your comments are below. As always, I can't read them all, but I try to. And if I don't get a chance to respond, thank you so much for your involvement in the community. And hey, if you like what you saw here, do me a favor and do yourself a favor. Somewhere around me, I'm not quite sure where it's gonna pop up. There'll be a link to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, that'll give you the ability to stalk my further videos. So all that said, guys, hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you later.